Good morning, good afternoon, brother, sister, Christ. It's the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Um, yesterday, my sister sent me something about Alabama, about a, a fight at Alabama, uh, Alabama boat. Um, something about an Alabama brawl, right? That they had a fight at this um, dock, at this dock about Alabama. But the other day, remember I told y'all that the Lord gave me a scripture about slave masters. And we know about how Alabama and the South, how they have did with slavery against us black people, against God's children. And so, I just looked at this again because I really didn't pay attention to it because of work and everything. So, you know, the Lord has been telling us about the Phoenicians, about the color purple. But we know that. Republicans and Democrats, red and blue, you mix that together, it come purple. So we know these these two teams, they are with each other. With this government, because Babylon is a government. And the Lord told us about his government to get to know the kingdom of heaven. But these two teams, they are together playing people against each other to pick us out to go on to push this this agenda as they coming into this new switch you know the nwo they're doing this beast system but how they starting off so the lord tells about race wars this gonna create they're creating race wars and it's starting now off with the south with talking about slavery they do a touch a touchy subject because they use Alabama as a point because you know it's some racism still some racism exists in Alabama but they picked this place but look in this video you see the colors red and blue and you see purple. And the Lord gave me this scripture about Obadiah. It's in Obadiah. And the Lord had told us that, uh, woe to the slave masters, this evil and wicked generation. Well, seek a sign, they won't find none. They're talking about the evil and wicked generation of the ones that want to destroy, destroy the Lord's children. And the Lord been telling us to get out of Egypt because Egypt and uh, Babylon, they work together. Because when the Lord had sent Moses to uh, tell Pharaoh, let his people go and tell us to come come out of Egypt, people stayed in, some people went back to Egypt. And some stayed there, and Egypt is all about slavery. They were so much into slavery with Egypt, that they went on into Babylon, and they worked together. So this also happened with the Republicans and the Democrats. Egypt and Babylon, which we already know, they, they together. And they coming together, working with slavery, and uh, Babylon is also trying to have people to have us to forget who we are, his children, God's children, to have us to uh, our identity. Maybe with this Roman practices, but also also they trying to push us to uh, Babylon to work with us forgetting our identity. So the Lord got me with Babylon and Egypt. Babylon work on the identity, and Egypt work with slavery. And the Lord told us, get out of Babylon and Egypt. Don't go there because people have, we need a new mindset and know who we are in Christ. But this got me back to Republicans and Democrats equal to a purple, the Phoenicians, because the Phoenicians work all together with them about that money. So let me give you with this, what the Lord gave me, because he gave me Obadiah. Obadiah, and he gave me Scripture 17, and it's about Israel's final triumph. But, O Mount Zion, there should be deliverance, and there should be holiness. The house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. The, the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. But the house of Esau shall be stumbled. They shall kindle them and devour them, and no survivor, survivor shall remain of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken. The south shall possess the mountains of Esau. And the lowlands shall possess Philistia. Philistia? They shall possess the field of Ephraim and the fields of Samaria. Benjamin shall possess Gilead. And the captives 
of, the, of his host of the children of Israel shall possess the land of the Canaanites and far as Zarephathah the captives of Jerusalem who are in Sepharad Sepharad shall possess the cities of the south then saviors shall come to Mount Zion to judge the mountains of Esau and the king and the kingdom shall be the Lord but over Esau they all together, that's why God said, whoa. He told us about the evil in generation, the slave masters, and how even God's children, the ones that turned on his own people, woe to him. So that's what the Lord said, we will fight a, a triumph over the Esau. That we will triumph. God's children will triumph. Victory. But also with this, they starting up this uh, race war. That's why I told y'all these. That's why the Lord had me stop with voting, cause He told me these people working on the same team. This, these, these demons working on the same team. The Republicans and the Democrats. They made purple with the Phoenicians, and you see all these colors anyway. And I looked at the mayor of Alabama. He got a purple tie. And you look on that, the mayor of Alabama got a purple tie, and then uh, on a. Uh, a clip I seen, it was another man with the light blue and white and red on this jersey, and he had the number 19 on there. You turn that 9 upside down, that's a 6. But I had to give y'all this real quick, because the Lord gave me this. Because he still saw my slave masters, and how that is not playing. And his child, he was still telling me about restoration for his children. God's children would try him. And it says, the saviors shall come to Mount Zion to judge the mountains of Esau, and the kingdom shall be the Lord's. Y'all, just be ready for persecution too, y'all, because we're going through some things. But no, God is good. Lord just gave me this with Obadiah. And Obadiah is about the common judgment of Edom. Edom and Esau. Okay, let's read this. Um, this was a vision of Obadiah. Thus said the Lord God concerning Edom, We have heard a report from the Lord, and the messengers have been sent among the nations, saying, Arise, and let us rise up against, the against her for battle. Behold, I will make you small among the nations. <laughs> among the nations, you shall be greatly despised, the proud of your heart hath deceived you, you who dwell in the cliffs of the rock, whose habitations is high, you who say in your heart, who will bring me down to the ground. Though you ascend as high as an eagle, and though you sit your nest among the stars, from there I will bring you down, said the Lord. I got to give y'all this right though, right quick. The Lord told me that in my spirit right now, the vengeance is the Lord. That he fight our enemies for us, y'all. The vengeance is the Lord's. As I'm reading this, the Holy Spirit put in my, in my spirit that the Lord said, the vengeance is the Lord. And I know one time he told us to love our enemies. And he'll make our enemies our footstool. So, the vengeance is the Lord, y'all. It says, if thefts have come to you, if robbery by night, oh, how will you be cut off? Will they have not stolen till they had enough? If great gathers had come to you, would they have not left some, some gleaning? Oh, how Esau shall be searched out. How his hidden treasure shall be sought after. All the men in your, conf your confederacy shall force you to the border. Y'all know they be have that con confederate flag, that confederate flag, and you know what color that is, red, white, right, and blue. The men of peace, the men at peace with you shall deceive you and prevail against you. Those who eat your bread shall lay a trap for you. No one is aware of it. Will I not in that day, says the Lord, even destroy the wise men of Edom? And understanding from the mountains of Esau, then your mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed, to the end that everyone from the mountain of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. 
For violence against your brother Jacob, shame shall cover you, and you shall be cut off forever. In that day, in the day that you stood on the on the other side, in the day that strangers carried captive his forces, who when foreigners enter his gate and cast lots for Jerusalem, even you were as one of them. But you should not have gazed on the day of your brother and the day of the day of his captivity. Nor should you have rejoiced over the children of Judah in that day of their destruction. Nor should you have spoken proudly in the day of distress. You should not have entered the gates of my people in the day of their committee. Indeed, you should not have gazed on their affliction in that day of their committee, nor, nor land, nor laid hands on their substance in the day of their committee. You should not have stood on the crossroads. To cut off those among them who escaped, nor you should have delivered up those among them who remained in the day of distress. For the day of the Lord upon all the nations is near, as you have heard, it shall be done to you. You reprisal against your reprisal should return upon your own head, and for as you drink on my holy mountain, you shall. So shall all your nations drink continuously. Yes, they shall drink and swallow. And they shall be as though they have never been. The victory is all, y'all, y'all, the victory is ours. We're in a spiritual warfare. But they cranking these two teams, they cranking it up. We already know they masons and everything else. These Phoenicians, they, all these, they rise, this Satan army rising up against God's children. But God said they, we will triumph over them. And the vengeance is the Lord. Because they want you to step out of place. Because they're getting into this storm. And they're cranking it off with their little fight. And everybody else is going to start going around. That's why we got to make Because Satan wants you to get out of place. So he could cause you to sin. And then you won't be in right standing with the Lord. So we we go to God. And we go to prayer. We go to This is how we go fighting and battle and prayer. But y'all know, hey. Sometimes we just going to pray. Because God do give us time that we defend ourselves. He know your heart of all men. But we pray this is a spiritual warfare. We're rising up and this against Esau. But I had to go look back at this video about this Alabama, Alabama brawl because I didn't pay attention to it yesterday. I had so much going on when she sent it to me. So today I finally got off to look at it and then the Lord gave me this. Obadiah. Y'all, but the vengeance is the Lord, y'all. We got to walk in obedience because Satan wants you to get out of line. And then, then you'll be out of placement with God. And that's what he tried to get you to be sinful, to be go against God so you could become like him. So the Lord said the vengeance is the Lord's. We have to be obedient. That's why God said this evil and wicked generation, they will, they will seek a sign and will not find them because they won't see God, Jesus Christ. Only those who receive him and repent from doing his children wrong. And they cranking this off. Y'all, pay attention to the Lord. Listen to the Lord when he speak. Look at these colors. Y'all be blessed. Love y'all in Jesus' name.